Ken is going to show us how to celebrate spring with a beautiful spring mantle. Ken, this is a really cool idea. Super inexpensive. Super inexpensive. I use stuff, a lot of stuff that we already had. And I'm sort of playing on the what I did yesterday, the sort of modern spring. I just like the idea of something that's pared down and fresher, a little bit more architectural than your standard spring wreaths and mantles. So okay. That's what I wanted to do here. Okay, something a little different, a little exactly. departure. We have a completely empty right here mantle. So what right. do we do with this? Our empty palette, we're gonna start by using some old picture frames. I'm a big fan of old frames. These have been painted like 8 million times in 8 million colors, but you can get these super inexpensive at thrift shops, secondhand places, because right. the, the, their mirror is broken, that this is broken. And I'm just gonna layer those up here to okay. get our sort of main sort of Ooh. focal oh, I point. I love that. Right, that I just spray cool. painted them white to match our cabinets. It looks great up against the gray and gives us a nice framework to start with. And you could leave it like that, and it's it's very it's interesting. It's kind of cool by itself, yeah. right, boom. But, but why, when you have so many <laughs> other things that we're gonna do here, especially this little bunny. If that doesn't say spring, how cute this is This is Rose Bunny, this is Rose Pet Bunny, his name is Munchie. This is a real bunny? Yes, it's a real bunny, yeah. one of our home yeah. and family. This is our oh home and family gosh. bunny. Um, you can actually get this online. We have this to download. You can print it out on your home computer. I'm gonna show you how to turn it from just a regular black and white print into a work of art. So okay. what we're gonna do is first get a artist, a wood artist canvas. This is wood, you can get it at any craft store. They come in a zillion different sizes. You just wanna print it out to be slightly larger than your piece of wood. So it's called a wood canvas. Exactly. Okay. And you're just going to get good old fashioned spray glue and just give it a good coating. Do this outside maybe. Do it outside or well ventilated space, not like we're doing it here. Exactly. And then you're going to put munchy right down. I mean, that is so cute. And then you're just going to flip it over and with your X-Acto knife, just trim it using the wood as a border. And what that's gonna do, because these wood canvases have that nice sort of wood edge, it sort of all of a sudden becomes this nice Look at work that. of art so easily and looks so professional, but you've got that nice little wood, which I think really makes it look kind of like, ooh, is that from an art gallery? Fancy. No, I printed that out from Home and Family. Look at how easy that is. So easy. Now for here, because um, this is so big, I wanted to do it in an extra large size. So Deb, if you wanna pass for the bunny right behind oh. you there. Oh my goodness, Exactly, look at that. same thing. If you want wow. this size, you don't have that printer at home, you could actually do it in two 11 by 14s. You won't notice the seam. You don't have to send it out. And I'm just gonna layer him like right there. And I love, again, we're working with that sort of architectural square shapes, again, threes, oh. but that bunny just adds a sort of humor and modern art aspect. And so, even if you did want to uh, send it out to print it, you could go to a FedEx center and could, that right. would cost probably, probably $10. Not. Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. So now we're gonna start with some other stuff on the other side. So you wanna pass me the candlesticks. I'm adding in some wood pieces here. What I've done, again, I've just gone with some diluted white paint and I've washed everything down. These are old candlesticks that we already had. They're mismatched, but they're gonna give us that same sort of like clean, modern feel. And then I have a little sort of, again, architecture. We're sticking with the square lines. Boom, little bird where it's gonna nestle right in here. And now... How cute is that? What do we need for spring? Flowers. Flowers. Spring so, has sprung. I love right. paper whites. Um, why don't you pass me the paper whites first? I'm okay. gonna talk about these in a second. All right. Um, and these, I say, like, if you can get fresh ones, they make the house smell absolutely amazing. But if you can't, they also make these in silks, and they're actually one of the sort of nicer silk things that you can get. And I'm gonna pop it in here. You know, if you oh, don't, you if you can't find a little greenhouse, you can also do a little birdhouse here. It's just the idea of having something kind of architectural to sort of, again, build with that feel. Oh. And that now, what I always do this time of year, we have some f blooming trees in our yard. I wait to prune them until they bloom and then I bring them inside. That's and they will last year. about five, six weeks. If you don't want to do that, you can buy silks or just get a branch from outside. So pretty. Get some inexpensive flowers and a little oh. hot glue and you can make your own if you don't have live ones in. And I'm gonna pop that right there. Okay, that just, just to give the, us some height. literally made the fireplace Boom. and the mantle come alive. And we had to buy nothing. We bought the wooden frame and that is it. Easy breezy. Modern, clean, Beautiful. swap out the buddy later for something, swap out the flowers as you go through the season. Ken, you've done it again. That <laughs> is gorgeous, and I'm a big fan of that bunny. We love your Munchie the bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ken. For full instructions, you all visit hallmarkchannel.com.